hi everybody this is Titi readings and hi Gemini let's see what messages will show up for you what do we have for Gemini please show me Gemini's energy Ooh, delight birds are messengers so trust there's something here that will be revealed to you in its own due time um I've, I'm, I'm getting the i'm getting the phrase living in the moment so a lot of you are living in the moment i feel like you're trying to enjoy what it is and what it is like right now okay you are trying to cultivate something in your life you know that helps you move forward that helps you take it a step further for sure um But there's also something here about divine timing and possibly taking things one day at a time healing chaos inner peace openness being open and receptive to the changes that are coming a lot of you it's like there is a change within you as a person like something might have changed you as a person who you have become and who you are um, becoming Gemini show me Gemini's energy show me Gemini's energy please romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring there's somebody who I see you getting close with. Maybe there's even a child between you two or there was. Spirit is telling you to not push down your feelings. Anything that you're feeling, you know, when we suppress our feelings and we don't acknowledge them, we try to avoid them, disown our feelings. It creates a burden for us in the long run, okay? retreat it's time to disconnect from the world a lot of you are taking a break from love um yeah there's somebody that you're not communicating with or you have lost contact with okay Taking a break from something. Dating, all lies on you. Mirror and twin flames. Oh my god, okay. We have heart with a key. Even though I feel like you're distanced from distanced from love, there is an energy here of somebody coming towards you. But with the twin flame and the mirror energy, Gemini, this talks about things that we project, okay, onto the other person, our own issues, okay. And it's perfect because twin flame and mirror energy came together. You know, even though I don't believe in that concept, I'm not talking about soulmate, I'm talking about twin flame, okay? If you believe in it, good for you. But it's generally what's said about, I'm aware of what it is and what is the connection like. So, you know, um, yeah. So it's, it's really, you know, about when we are with somebody and you know there's always a certain level of acceptance that we expect from that person right and it's almost like in your relationship in the past there was a lot that was unresolved within you and this is the hard truth a lot of people are not gonna like it okay i get it but it is what it is it came out so i have to tell you this 
it's not like I'm personally saying it for you, you know? There's something that came out energetically. It looks like there is an energy here of you, you know, you'll be getting somebody's uh, love offer. You'll be getting, you know, attention from somebody. But Spirit is also telling you to keep that in mind, you know, which didn't work in the past and why it didn't work out in the past. What, you, what can you change within you? Not, not about the other person, but about yourself, okay? So, yeah. But with that being said, all eyes on you. Somebody could be looking at your social media or there could be a dating profile that you have online. I don't know. There is like somebody who is... Who is very much interested in you gemini let's see show me gemini's energy Out of cups, strength. Aries, Pisces, Virgo, Leo energy significant in your reading. Overall energy for you is the Nine of Pentacles to the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're protecting yourself from mind games that somebody has played with you. Or it's like an energy of, I'm so tired of being a part of this game. I'm so tired of constantly, you know, it's like tiptoeing tip, tip around the situation, okay? So a lot of you are choosing inner peace. And with the Nine of Pentacles energy, it's like looking good, smelling good, and working on yourself, you know? Knight of Cups, Strength, Ten of Cups, and the Five of Wands. I feel like um, Gemini, there is something here about you're tired of something, okay? You are tired of something. You're tired of fighting for something and you're tired of proving your point. So you're not doing it no more. But again, at the same time, a lot of you maybe are wishing to be in a relationship, wishing to be in a situation where you are also understood and accepted, which is fine, okay? But it's like a certain level of detachment that you're experiencing right now, you're going through. You're also, it's, it's like there's something deep within your feelings that's also coming to the surface. Some of you could be learning something new. You could be... I don't know, um, you could be researching something or looking something online or you you were looking something online that you were really curious about before watching this reading, I don't know, Googling something. But there's, there's like an energy here of taking responsibility for something, healing yourself. But at the same time... Um, feeling like all o you're all over the place so i cannot really explain this feeling that's why you know i'm having a hard time explaining it i mean i'm getting it but sometimes it's just hard to put it into words because it's like there's so much going on with you energetically there's like you're feeling 
good and then you're feeling not so good at the same time whoever you're dealing with they think about you they are very silent but there's a relationship kind of an energy i feel like you're attracting a long-term relationship if i'm going to be honest with you but that person for you is going to come in your life unexpectedly a and b it's not something that's happening very suddenly okay in the short run there's an energy of dating or somebody just approaching you has been looking at your social media profile or they've been you know they've they've had their eyes on you for a while but in the long run there's a there's a relationship that you're manifesting okay let's see let's clarify what's the five of wands show me the five of wands i feel like there's an interaction here a friendship a lover a family member a co-worker i don't know it's like giving into the situation only ends up disappointing you in some way and it, it's it has created a toxic cycle for you okay it's like every time i try to interact with this person or every time i try to like move in this energy towards this energy i feel depleted and exhausted I feel like a lot of you have become very selective with your energy and especially I'm, I'm getting a very like I don't know like th there's a friend who has betrayed you or there there has been somebody in your energy who wasn't so good and very energetically draining okay I really feel like you're avoiding somebody but at the same time, you're trying to understand why it happened the way it did, okay? And what you can change about it. So I like it. There's there's healing. There's awareness, okay? Uh, what's the strength? Oh my God, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> what's? It was even loud for me, so I don't know what happened to you. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, strength card, please. It says sorry and keeps shuffling loudly. <laughs> the strength card please wow okay so you have the wheel of fortune to the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck i feel like you're attracting a divine counterpart wheel of fortune energy is something that's in your destiny okay um and you're getting 10 10 10 here four of wands there's definitely okay a there's something really here about your destiny about things unfolding for you in their own time that's why you have that trust card there trusting the process you know it's it's not always fun and you know unicorns and rainbows when we're healing we're moving forward we're understanding ourselves it's a journey and i feel like there's a very beautiful partnership that you're manifesting but i'm not gonna lie to you it's a journey okay it's a journey you could be with a fire sign Aries Leo Sag, but you are not willing to waste your time and energy on somebody you feel like is just going to waste your time, you know? No casual situation. Like, you don't want to be a part of it. You want somebody to own up to something, okay? I don't feel like... Um, You're not really about giving a second chance here, are you? This is really about avoiding something or avoiding going back to something. What's the moon card? What's the moon card, please? Three of wands and the six of wands. You're looking forward to something. You're also looking forward to manifest something um i feel like gemini there's something you're really considering like you're deeply deeply thinking about something from what i can see
what am I going to do next? Where am I headed towards? What is this path in front of me? Is it worth taking? This person was my friend, but are they worth keeping? Or, or should I let them go? Things like that. I do feel like you're taking responsibility for your money. You know, you're putting effort. You're trying to plant the right seeds. You're trying to invest wisely, whatever the case might be. What's the tower? Exactly, you know, because I feel like this is really about emotional investment. You know, some of you are really cautious because you were really emotionally invested into something. You were really adamant about working on something with a person. You really decided to open up to somebody. But with the Eight of Swords energy here, you ended up feeling confused. So with the Seven of Pentacles, a lot of you are going through this epiphany. You're going through this realization here that I need to be more cautious of where I'm taking myself and you know and where i am taking my life actually where is my energy um directing me towards because it has a lot to do with what you're wanting to manifest in the long run okay and that hermit four of wands high priestess ten of pentacles is a long-term energy show me more there is okay look at that eight of cups to the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck you're gonna have options in love but before that eight of cups you're i see you walking away from one person and walking into another person <laughs> there is definitely somebody coming towards you like eight weeks or something like that um summertime maybe i don't know pisces pisces season is gone but maybe virgo virgo is far but i don't know this is somebody who's showing up for you. Yeah, there's something about eight, eight weeks, eight months, like by the end of the year. I don't know. A lot of you will also get a news about your work, your money, like maybe a project you've been working on or you've been trying to improve uh, in something. Four of Cups to the Queen of Swords. the devil I feel like a lot of you have been very very discontent okay you're ooh there could be a person from the past who might come back in your life that you're trying to avoid 100% and with the six of wands energy it's almost like I'm hearing the word show off somebody's a show off okay I don't know if it's a friend, a lover, a co-worker. Like somebody loves to show off what they got. Or I don't know, They somebody who thinks very highly of themselves. But they like keep throwing that information at your face. It's like, hey, look at this, look at that. It's a very annoying energy, I'm not going to lie. And you're avoiding this person. <laughs> now, one thing I see for you personally is that I see you victorious. I see you looking good, smelling good, you know, attracting good stuff money wealth uh even attention but with that also comes somebody who's like not your type okay so there could be two different people and honestly i have to go by the energy that i'm picking up on more than what's really you know going by the books i feel like with this person this is a long-term energy and this is a short-term energy i mean but even by the looks of it this is some something very temporary okay Show me a guided message for Gemini. Okay. Gemini, do give this video a like and let me know in the comment section if you found guidance in the video. And there will be a reading about your person linked uh, in the description box if you're interested. Okay, so we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Nice. So that's it. Those were the messages that showed up for you. A lot of you are trying to build your self-confidence. Great. Do it. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say. I like your energy already. It, it very much aligns with the Nine of Pentacles here. So that's it, Gemini. Those were the messages that showed up. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.